Hey folks, it certainly has cooled off in the last 24 hours. Last night at this time we were in the 80s, now we're in the 50s, a drop of more than 30 degrees, 35 degrees in many places from yesterday at this time. Everybody's in the 50s and these numbers haven't moved for the most part today. We have stayed in the 50s all day long. Look at that, 52 Rio Grande City in Edinburgh, 53 Raymondville, Westlake, Harlingen. And if you watch overnight, we don't go much of anywhere either. We hold steady in the low 50s. So what you feel when you walk out right now is what you're going to feel all night long and probably when you wake up in the morning. Cloudy skies, a little bit breezy. There's still a little drizzle, but it's very isolated. Not much of that left. But tomorrow during the afternoon, skies brighten a little bit and temperatures come back up in the upper 60s, about 70 at the beach. Northwest winds still about 8 to 16 miles an hour, but a much more mild day than today. A good 10 to maybe 15 degrees warmer than we've been most of the day today. And look at that. We jump another dozen degrees for Sunday and then a bunch more for Monday. In fact, Monday, I wouldn't be surprised if some places get up near that record high of 90 on Monday. It'll depend on timing of the next front. That's due in here, it looks like right now, Monday evening or Monday night. So it should be a very warm day on Monday. A lot of clouds today, just thick overcast across the region. And future tracks suggest that even at 7 o'clock, a lot of clouds, maybe a little mist out there, but no measurable rain anymore. That's done, but spotty drizzle, still a possibility. You get into the early morning hours, still a lot of clouds. This is almost 8 o'clock in the morning. Doesn't change much by middle of the afternoon tomorrow. Still some clouds, but I think they thin a little bit during the afternoon. That gets us back into a little bit of sunshine for the second part of the day, at least a little bit. That helps warm those temperatures up. Then tomorrow night, skies are partly cloudy. We get into Sunday, and I think we see a little bit more sun, and with that, we're dry all day Sunday after a slight chance of something early tomorrow, 10%. But look at this. Monday, we go from maybe something isolated during the daytime to a 70% chance of showers and storms Monday night with heavy rain, a possibility as the next front comes in. That would means business again. These are currents around the state, and boy, I tell you what, fronts the great equalizer. It's about the same in Dalhart as it is in McAllen. Pretty much the same all across the state, right around 50 or so. If you look at the cloud cover, there's been plenty of it. Big upper air storm sitting back here. We're going to talk more about that in the next half, half hour because that will continue to push clouds and probably some rain into the region, especially the middle of next week. But the front is down to the south of us. High pressure moving off to the east slowly but surely. I think by Sunday, it's far enough away that our wind comes back off the Gulf of Mexico. You get a southeasterly wind, that warms things up a little bit. That gives us a little more sunshine. Monday, even more of that with temperatures probably warming up into the 80s on Monday. But as soon as we warm up, we look to the north. Here comes the next front. That one drops through Monday night. And look how the rain breaks out behind it. It turns cold. West Texas could even see some snow showers, snow flurries on Tuesday. And once we get cold, we're going to stay that way for a couple of days. And the rain may continue for a couple of days. It could get rather messy for Tuesday and Wednesday. Are you traveling tomorrow? Well, San Antonio is 45 in the morning. Houston's 42. So is Dallas. By the time we get to the afternoon, we're back in the upper 60s. But look at that. Amarillo is warmer than we are. So is El Paso. A rare warm day in North Texas when we have a cool day in South Texas. At the coast, here's what's going on. Take a look. Winds out of the northwest to north 10 to 20. Choppy on the bay. Small craft advisory with a high risk of rip currents. There are tides. One tonight, two tomorrow. So for tonight, 50. Cloudy, chilly. Temperatures don't go anywhere. Tomorrow, maybe some late day brightening up to 67 degrees. Hopefully a little sun mixed in there. Sunday, a little more sun back to 79. Monday for Veterans Day, we hit 86. Maybe warmer than that. And then look at that, 40s. Two days in a row next week. Clouds, showers. Your first one five accurate. The forecast says it's going to be chilly the middle part of next week. That's your updated first one five forecast.